Welcome to your Go Market update with me, Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets for Monday, the 16th of May 2022. We hope you had a great weekend. And let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, on Friday, we saw the Dow snap a six day losing streak as all US indices bounced high, moving sharply after what really was a fairly tumultuous week. Again, the volatility that we've seen recently appears to be continuing, of course. We did get some follow through this morning in Asia. We've got all the US futures positive and Asian indices have followed that US lead from Friday and are trading to the upside. European futures are also pointing to a higher open. In FX markets, we saw the US dollar index pull back a little bit on Friday from Thursday's highs. Gold, which was under pressure last week, survived the test of 1800, remains in correction territory, but looks as though there's some buying coming into it right now, at least temporarily. Oil continues to edge higher and copper also bounced off eight month lows we saw on Thursday to close the week near neutral around that key 420 level that we've referenced before. Although markets are still twitchy, we did see the VIX drop below 30, still a high level, but nevertheless, would rather it was dropping than not. And in the crypto space, which was hugely volatile last week, we've seen Bitcoin recover a little bit on Friday from touching 25,000 on Thursday. It does appear to be testing 30,000 again today in Asia to the upside. US earnings season is essentially finished. There's just some straggling US retail stocks to report early in the week, including Walmart. And on the data front, it's quite a quiet day today. We have had Japanese PPI beating expectations already this morning and also, of course, China's retail sales and industrial production numbers out. Let's have a look at a couple of charts that are catching our eye. I'm going to start with the GB pound yen. We had a long term key level at around about 157.25. We tested that on Thursday, got a really nice bounce on the daily chart on Friday. You can see the performance in Asia today is really quite strong. If we look on the short term chart, the hourly chart, you can see this is what's happened since Asian Oak today, following through on the back end of last week. And the looks as though there's some buy momentum. You can see that high volume there on the last three candles to potentially take us up through 159 to perhaps 160 in the short term. So a 100 pip potential move on this if we get some continued momentum. On the ASX, we're liking LYC. You can see there we had this V-shaped bounce, a little pause around the 200 exponential moving average there around about 860, but a continuation pushing through a level that looks important at around about 880. So we're really sitting on that now. And so well worth a look at later in the day. There's perhaps a move of around about 5 or 6% up to around about 930 on the cards technically if we do get a breakout trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now